Hi guys and welcome to another battle report. 3000 points between Britannia and the Dwarves. I will start by going through my armor list. First I have a level 4 of uh, life and she is carrying the Dispel Scroll. Uh, and for spell she has Awakening the Wood, uh, Dwellers Below, Throne of Vines, Oak Earthblood. Then next to her I have Green Knights, then I have a Britannian Lord with a Heroic Killing Blow and a Reroll to Wound Lands. Then I have a Paladin Hero with Morning Star and Ruby Goblet and Heavy BSP with a 1-up Armor Save, Rerollable. And then I have another Paladin with Lands and also 1-up Armor Save, Rerollable. Uh, and then I have a Long Paladin uh, on the armor with the Dragon Helm, and then I have a uh, level 1 Lore of Life carrying the Crown of Command, and she got uh, Flesh to Stone, and then a Paladin on a Pegasus with the Gauntlet of Duel, so you can't refuse a challenge, and uh, the Flaming Lance. Uh, and then, as for core units, I got 20 men at arms with spears. A errant lance with the war banner, and then I have some knights of the realms with the standard of discipline, which will be the unit with my general in it. And then I got another unit with my BSP that will have the banner of swiftness. And for special, I have five mounted yeomen with shields. And three Pegasus Knights with Musicon. Then as for rare, I have two Trivishit and three Grey Knights with a Musicon. And I deploy like this. Farthest way I have the Yeoman in the Fungus Forest. Then I have my Solo Din with the Dragon Helm. Three Grey Knights. Behind them I have my 20 Spearmen with my level 4 in it. Then I have my BSB lands with uh, the Paladin with the Morning Star, and then I have my Lodge lands uh, with the uh, best standard of discipline. And behind them I have my Trebuchet. Uh, next to them I have my Errant lands with my level one with Chrono Command in it. Then I have a Trebuchet, and uh, in front of the Trebuchet I have my Paladin Hero on the peg. And in front of him I have three Pegasus Knights. And for my opponent, far away, he have a Gyro Bomber. Then he have a big bus of warriors. Then she have some Iron Drex. Then some Iron Breaker with a Runesmith in it. Uh, and then some Hammerers with his General in it. And then he have some bus of Horde of Great Weapon Warriors with his BSP and another Runesmith in it. Uh, and then in front of them he have like a group of Thunderers. And behind the tower there he have another Gyrocopter. And further to the edge he have another Gyrocopter. I then got it up like this. And he then got up his Gyrocopter like this. He chose to take the first turn. So he moves up his Eurocopters over here on the flank and move his Thunderers into the building. And pushes up his other units like this. Uh, he don't really have any shooting. So we go in directly to my turn. And for my first turn I move up like this. Uh, in the magic phase I try to six dice towards below. But he used the uh, rune of spell eating. But unfortunately, he didn't eat up the spells. Uh, my trebuchet uh, hit the target perfectly. One straight into the iron breaker block, and one straight into the hammer block. Uh, the hammer block didn't take too much damage because he have a banner uh, on the war great weapon warrior unit that gives everybody within six inches five plus ward against missile weapon. For his second turn, he takes Gyrocopter into my trebuchet. 
and as you can see he moved up his Yara bomber over there trying to bomb away my spearman but he fails and it scatter away his iron drakes shoot down four of my realm knights in combat he pretty much killed my trebuchet for my turn two i take two of my lances into his iron breakers uh, and i take my solo in and three grey knights into his iron drake i manage to land the charge even though we have one rune of slowness which subtract a d6 from my movement uh, I move up my mantle German around the building uh, and I move up my Pegasus Paladin to stop his hammer from charging my uh, units of realm and I don't know what I should do with my Pegasus Knights so I just move them up over there for the time being uh, and I play it safe with my errant lands and my magic didn't do anything he scrolled um, dwellers below on his hammer once again but i did get flesh to stone on my general's lands and that's it my trebuchet failed to hit anything and this is after uh, the combat uh, if you see my solo din and grey knights didn't do so good against the iron drake I charge him and kill like three of them and he slaughtered two of my grey knights uh, and he passed a steadfast leadership test uh, my realm lances did very well against his iron breaker but he have the stubborn banner so he sticks around uh, for his turn number three he take his gyro bomber into my trebuchet and two of his gyrocopters into the flank of my spearmans and as you see on this picture, he turned around his warrior to charge my knights next round and his hammers charge my paladin on a pegasus. He also moves up his other warriors into a fungus forest uh, and then his thunderers shoot at my pegasus knights and manage to sneak one wound through. His gyro bomber kills my trebuchet but his gyrocopters do very bad and can't break my spearmen and i actually win this combat and i reform to face him in the front in this combat uh, i challenge with my paladin on pegasus and manage to do wound on his dwarf fane hero general uh, and i stick around uh, the iron breaker do next to none damage to my knight unit and they stick and the iron drakes kill my solo din and my last grey knight and for my turn three i started to get a little desperate so i take my pegasus knight into the flank of his hammerers uh, my yeoman charge his warrior in the rear hopefully i can have get lucky and break them and i move my errands lands up there to stop his warriors uh, i did a very big mistake and not willing them a little bit more so as it look right now when he overruns my errant knights he will hit the flank of my realm unit uh, i should have turned them a little bit more uh, so and this is after combat i'm my yeoman did manage to kill like two dwarf but he killed three of mine and i'm break and a Luckily for him, passes his pursuit test. Uh, the combat in the middle, we just stick around. I manage to regrow some of my knights. Uh, and in the other combat uh, with uh, our hammers, we pretty much stick around. And for his turn four, his iron drakes manage a long charge into the flank of my Pegasus knight. His great weapon warrior, unfortunately pass their stupid test and charge my errant lance and his thunderous move out of the building and his warrior uh, charge the flank of my bsb realm lance i do not have a picture of his combat phase but uh, we pretty much stays uh, my paladin on a pegasus managed to sneak another one through on his dwarf fane general 
and my Pegasus Knights kill some hammers, and his Iron Drakes kill some Pegasus Knights. Uh, my Aaron's lands are stubborn, so they stick with only four models left. And my Peasant Spearman managed to break one of the Gyrocopters. We go straight to his turn five. Uh, his Iron Drake break my Pegasus Knights and they run them down. This picture is showing that his Gyrocopter and his Gyro Bomber bombs away at my Spearman. So they die a lot of them and they started to run on his turn five. And on combat, on his turn 5, he breaks both my lances. Uh, this is my BSB lance fleeing. He catches my general lance, pursuing him. His hammers also manage to break my Pegasus Knight's Paladin and then roll double sixes and caught him. On my turn 5, uh, I rally my spearman. And I cast a Dwellish Below at his White Corpion Warrior. Uh, I didn't manage to kill any character, but uh, a lot of them are gone. And then on his turn, he charged first with his Great Corpion Warrior, and I flee away from them. And then his Gyrocopter, and I flee away from them. And as his look as now, it seems like I can rally, but uh, we forgot when I cast Dwellish Below before. I got a miscast and I dimensionally cascade and kill everyone except for one of this stupid peasant. So I'm rally on the double one and fail it and they run off the board. And for turn 5, Green Knight turns up. I roll turn 1 and 2 for him and he didn't show up and forgot about him turn 3 and 4. Uh, but now turn 5 he shows up at turn 6, he charges his Tundras, but the Tundras makes their steadfast test, so they stick around, uh, and that's the game. I pretty much lose very fucking hard, uh, but nothing you can do about it. Shit happened. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.